this journey that we're on right now is to find a way that we can connect with ourselves in a deeper sense, as well as find healthy narratives forward. This guy is a power rescue man from Alaska. He's gonna hit 18 states. For years, our veterans have been crying out in pain, physical and emotional. And too often, the medical community has prescribed prescription medication. It's really hard to identify with what it means to be a veteran or a combat veteran, or really even to come home to themselves. I had this thing for surfing, and that surfing saved my life. There's something about being out in the ocean, dealing with the ocean, that rhythmic motion of waves traveling as far up as they do, and this riding waves. I've, I've often believed that subtle interaction with nature is the most powerful medicine in the world. Being healthy is more than just, hey, I can do you know a bunch of pull-ups and a bunch of push-ups. And when I look at health and wellness now, I look at what are you eating? What are you watching? Who are you spending time with? How are you sleeping? And always tied to community and always tied to service. I'm looking at it a lot more holistically. There's something about the fact that I can look back and say, I was a grunt in Vietnam. I was a 0311 infantryman. I was the guy out there humping up and down those goddamn mountains. The way we view it is it's proactive health care versus reactive disease care. You received the silver star for a firefight in Afghanistan. Can you just share with us what you remember and what was involved there? I need to master my mind and body. And I need to do that because the world is failing. Western medicine is failing. 